Okay, at the handle here, there's a few switches. The side one, we push forward, the pallet joint move forward. We push backward, the pallet joint move backward. Over here, you can see that there's an up down, a fork. Press up, the fork move up, press down, the fork will move down. At the same time, there's a horn where you can press. You have a beeping sound. Over here, at this, for this red button, it's a safety feature. In case when you move and you forget there's a wall behind, once this your body in contact with this button, the pallet jack will move forward. Okay, over here there's one LED which indicates that whether there's any power, there's a key to turn on and off of the machine, and there's one, this button is turtle. So when it's at vertical, when you press this turtle button and you press forward, you still can move the pallet jack when the handle is at vertical position. How do we charge the battery? First of all, unplug from the charger. Make sure the charger is not power on first. Plug in the charger plug. Turn on the power. You can see that there's an LED over here. When it's red, that means it's charging. When it's full charge, it will be turned to green on. But when the LED yellow flashes, it means that the charger is faulty. If the LED yellow is on, that means it's battery faulty. Okay, if you don't want to charge the battery at the machine, you can remove it. First of all, unplug. This plug over here, open the cover, unplug from the battery. There's a clip over here, push it down, pull out. Make sure your charger is off first. Plug in the plug, turn on the power supply. Same, you look at the LED. If it's red color, that means it's charging. If it's green on, that means it's fully charged. If it's a uh, yellow flashing, as indicated over here, that means the charger is faulty. If it's LED is yellow on, that means battery is faulty. How to put back the battery after fully charged? Off the power supply, remove the charger plug from the battery. Slot the battery back. You hear a click sound. There's one big connector over here, plug it in, close the cover, and plug in the How do you power on the pallet jack? First plug in the plug. You can see that it indicate the four green LED will light up to show that it's fully charged. Put in the key, turn. You see that over here there's a big LED. You will light up to indicate the power is on. Now I'll show you all the, all the button function with the motion of the pallet jack. So just now I explained the move. When you turn the knob at the side, you move forward, you push front. When you push back, you move backward. And the middle button here, you see the up and down. So when you push up, you can see the port will move up to lift up your pallet. When you push the down, the pallet will be released down. Okay, now I'll show you how to use this uh, silver color button with a turtle. You can see that the pallet uh, is jammed at one corner. And in order to move right by right, the lever needs to be down at a certain angle to move. So for this issue, right, you can use a you press the turtle function and you press front. You still can clear this issue. In case there is any obstacle in front, you can press the bell. The bell. Just now, this button, this button is a safety button in case. Uh, Behind you is a wall and you keep on reversing. Once your body hit this button, 
the whole pallet jack will move forward. Yes. You can see that once the button hit the body, it will move forward. That's a safety. Another safety feature of this uh, pallet jack F4, in case the operator fell down and the handle is fully at this position, the pallet jack will not be able to move. But moving up and down is still operational. Okay, you can see that it will not move anymore. Stop by itself.